Actually, um, yeah, I know. So, hey, I hope everyone's having a good night. I am a native Oregonian. A lot of people think I'm a dumb shit. Because I can talk like a dumb shit. I was raised in a chicken coop by a dad who was a religious fanatic. Holy fucking shit, I was raised to be a Puritan. I'm going to hell because I'm in a bar. You had a great set. Everyone had a great set. Oh my God, I love you guys. So here, um, I have assassination plans for Trump and I put them online. My therapist told me it was healthy. So I follow people's advice. My oldest sister, she's 10 years older than me, um, she gave me some advice. It cost me a lot of money and custody of my kids. She doesn't like me because she's a Trump fan. She's also a daddy worshiper. <laughs> now, I have daddy issues. When I go to a bar, I say, give me my regular. And they say, one order of daddy issues coming up. <laughs> it's usually a Pabst Blue Ribbon because that's what my dad drank. And I say, give me an order of daddy and mommy issues. And they're like, one order of Pabst Blue Ribbon and a chaser, which is like a fireball. Because my mom was Greek and she was a fireball. She had a face that could launch a thousand fucking ships. Let me tell you what, she was beautiful. However, she had a limp because a fucktard doctor screwed up her foot. She was born with a club foot back in the day. And I wasn't, thank God, but she told me I was built to have babies. So I believed her and I went off to have eight kids. And I didn't get fat. I mean, you know, I could have, but you know, but whatever. I just didn't, it was in my jeans. And I had eight kids. I looked like Dolly Parton eight times. Now I look like, you know, a balloon that was blown up and, you know, deflated. Do your boobs hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Do they, you know, that kind of stuff. So I do poetry because I have a degree in poetry from the University of Oregon. <laughs> After 20 years of a Stockholm Syndrome marriage, being kept hostage as a slave, set slave every day, and cooking my ex-husband every meal he wanted. Mm. Anyways, so he cheated on me with a little girl named Amber at work. Now I have Amber Alerts. <laughs> you could say I have PTSD. My therapist told me I have acute stress disorder. I said, that's cute. I can diagnose myself. Okay, but anyways, let me uh, end with a song. Did you guys hear about the recent news of a woman who's 20 years old in Pennsylvania? who went into a Walmart store and peed on potatoes. She's got some potty issues. It inspired a song I wrote called Yellow Taters. It was like this. Don't pee on those potatoes and don't eat yellow snow. Don't pee on the ground if there's no one around, just don't aim for my toe. Don't pee on those potatoes, especially if they're mashed. That yellow stuff is butter, dear. The flavor tastes like trash. I forgot to wash the taters, I didn't stop to think. Don't pee on those potatoes and don't pee in the sink. If you really can't hold your bladder, then just pee down your legs. Don't pee on those potatoes and don't pee on the eggs. So, wipe your hands on a napkin or go ahead and better your shirt. Don't pee on those potatoes, we just took them out of the dirt. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>